Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. Well, someone was asking how the goats were doing, and they're doing okay. That's the goats right there. What did... Oh, uh, Romeo and Juliet, that's what uh, Gina named them. <laughs> uh, the reason they're in here is that uh, the dogs didn't hurt them, but uh, they would have. And so, uh, we've just put them in here. And I know it defeats the whole purpose of having goats, because our little mini lawnmowers are pinned up here. Well, look what you guys did to this. Had a good time with it, didn't you? Romeo and Juliet are having a pretty good life here, but I would like to get them out of the chicken pen. And there's like six dogs that, and Buddy's one of them. And so we can't get rid of Buddy. I mean, that's Marcel's dog. I mean, he, he's the man. So we've got to build a fence around the house. And that's big money. And so that's not going to happen for months. So that's where these goats are going to be until they get quite a bit bigger and can handle themselves around the dogs. Probably full grown. Uh, but they're, they've got it pretty good in here, right here where they're at. But uh, I would like to see them out nibbling on grass. But you just basically have to guard them if, they're, if you take them outside on a rope and uh, lots of other things to be done around here besides guarding chickens. Haven't even checked on these these bigger basilian that we've gotten. They're pretty good looking chickens. We do have the budget to uh, begin on the on the uh, breeding pens. We've got enough for one roll of wire and three or four days worth of labor for Tata and Mario. It's probably not going to happen this week because I want to finish up, kind of round things up on the Azola pits. But we're going to put them right here between the edge of that tree and the edge of this one. Why are you guys acting so hungry? Oh, that's probably because I didn't get you any feed today, huh? Hi, uh, it's not one thing, it's another. Yeah, these chickens ran out of feed today and Gina told me and uh, I didn't remember to get a few kilos of feed on the way back from Tagular and I could have easily if I just remembered how to remember to do it. Well, they'll be okay till in the morning. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna, it's just, they're just gonna be simple uh, enclosures for a rooster and five or six hens. Fairly large, larger than, um, larger than what I've done before. Nothing like a free range pen or anything like that, but I'm thinking plenty of room for them to move around in. We've got to level this a bit somehow, or yeah, there's another way we could. Man, we couldn't do it. I was thinking to make it from from here, from left to right, or right to left. But then there's a there's a little slope right here as well too. We could do it from right to, right to left here, just like that pin sits, and just put another pin right here. In fact, I think that's what we'll do. Because I'm just gonna, to keep the watering simple, I'm just gonna take, 
uh, float valve. I might even, I think we've got one more automatic waterer left. And I'm just going to epoxy, uh, I'm going to get a four inch piece of that blue uh, orange pipe or poly, either one. And I cut it in half and so it's a half moon and just lay it down, cap one end of it. And it's just going to be one long waterer and that's going to be the waterers for all the, the breeding pins. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, just to put a, a row of them here and maybe an opposing row of them here. Or maybe just m build a horseshoe right here. Have some going this way, several that way, and then some more here. And all this area in the middle would be their run. Yeah, I'm liking that. Either do it here, or we'd have to do it on the other, on the other side of this. And the ground's definitely not flat there. So that would pose a, that, that would require a lot of leveling, and that's just more than what I want to get into. I'm going to set this camera down and throw a couple handfuls of leaves in there for them. A couple handfuls of grass. So if they have a little something to nibble on. I wish I'd brought my bolo with me, but I didn't. I'll just get a couple handfuls here real quick. I would have made this portable if I could have kept the dogs out of it. Or if, if I wasn't afraid of the dogs digging under it. I've had portable cages before where you've got wheels on one side and handles on the other and it's just it's like a giant wheelbarrow but it's a cage for chickens and you just pick it up and and move it and you you know it would be great to just pick this up and move it on top of all this grass the chickens would love it and in 10 days or two weeks all this grass right here would look just like the inside of their pen. It would be mowed down to nothing. But, with all these critters that we're not going to get rid of, have to do what we have to do. bunch on this side a little snack as well it's just something for them to do there's no feed value in it Check it all out. Yeah, they're thinking that's pretty cool. One more handful and put it on that other corner.
Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.